We welcome you to the Schottenstein Center, the Division IV Boys Basketball State Championship game. Cornerstone Christian taking on Marion Local and the Flyers in familiar territory. 2002-2003 basketball season, the boys and girls took home state basketball gold. And then three times, the volleyball and football teams have both won state titles in the same year in 2007, 2012, and 2013. Can the basketball team cap off a run this year. It's all brought to you by Molar Trucking. The Flyer faithful fired up for basketball's best stage. We start with Tyler Mesher after being blocked twice, knocks down a jumper, 2-0 Marion. Then fast breaking Flyers, Matt Rethman to Mesher, a 4-0 start. Nick Tangeman adding on to the lead, knocks this down. It's 7-2 blue and gold. And they were breaking that cornerstone Christian press, Mesher the finish and a 9-5 lead midway through the first. More from Marion, Rethman to Bruns, elbow jumper for Nathan, makes it 11-8. A few minutes later, they're down one. Bruns the block on this end, then watch Bruns on the other end, finding Mesher, 13-12, Marion local back in front. Michael Bothwell going to Furman, knocking down the runner here, Cornerstone Christian's first lead at the end of the quarter, 14-13. In the second, Marion down five, Tyler Pranger cuts into that with his triple. It's an 18-16 Cornerstone Christian lead. Then it's Rethman to Mesher starting an 8-0 run for Marion Local. Watch the backdoor cut by Bruns. He puts it in. It's 22 all and then right before the half Bruns offensive rebound. Tough shot goes. Marion Local heads into the locker room up 24-22. Third quarter Bothwell tips it up and in. Cornerstone Christian up two. Then Nathan Bruns to Pranger corner three. It's a 27-26 Marion local lead. Watch the cross court pass to Pranger back to back threes. 30 to 26 Flyers. But back comes Cornerstone. A 7-0 run as Kendall Sanders tips this one home. 33-30 Cornerstone after three to the fourth. Flyers down five. Great interior passing. Lands in the hands of Mesher. 35-32 Cornerstone. Then Mesher again taking on a taller defender, but they're still down three. Bruns knocking down the three to cut it to two with a minute 46 to go. 39-37. Then a bounce. Pass on the baseline to Mesher, ties this one at 39. All we go to overtime. Down four, Colin Everman scores. It's 43-41, 44 seconds left. Then down three, Everman skip pass to the corner. Bruns knocks down a big triple. Marion local bench going wild. We're tied at 44, a second overtime coming. Bothwell goes coast to coast. Four-point lead for Cornerstone Christian, but again, Tangeman brings the Flyers back, ties it at 48. Then with 16 seconds left, Ricky Adams falling down, drills a three. Cornerstone Christian goes up 51-50, but Mesher draws the foul, goes to the line, and calmly sinks two free throws. Marion Local, the state champions in boys basketball, they win at 52-51, 18 points apiece for Mesher and Bruns. You know, we're down three with 15 seconds in regulation, and we drew something up, and he buried a three to tie it. Got a stop on defense. Tyler Mesher hit the two big free throws in overtime, and, and both of them just rolled over the rim. I, I'm just thrilled for those guys because those are the two main guys that we hung our hat on all year, and our other guys did an excellent job of filling their roles. It was a total team effort today. It definitely was praying a little bit. Um, we had a recent death in the community, so Aaron Rose, um, he was a big lover of basketball. So I was just saying, Aaron, please be with me. Aaron, please be with me. Um, and I believe fully he was there. That first shot rolled around the rim, went in, and he was there. We've been here for, well, I haven't been here for a while in football. We get there a lot. So this one, this is pretty special. It's awesome. Coming from this community, I, sports, we love sports. We all, everybody loves everybody. We just connect so well. It's, some schools aren't lucky to ever get one and to get two in one year is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Feels great. Two in one year. <laughs> no, What's that atmosphere like in overtime? Oh, I was nervous a little bit, I'll be honest, but <laughs> it feels great to have everybody support us and all the communities around here. It's a great feeling and I love this community. I seen your class was loves basketball and us. I think we're a combination of both, but for the seniors to win in them both, that's something special for them, man. It's very special to send our seniors out this way because, you know, they love football and we're somewhat of a football school known around the state.
but this group really loved the game of basketball and they put a ton of time into this and you never know if it's going to end in something as sweet as a state championship and that's never our focus you know everybody has the goal of winning a state championship but our, our focus is just to get better every single day and we did that and the kids worked their tails off i'm elated for our seniors like they said before that's every kid's dream i've dreamed of being on this stage forever and to be the ones to actually hit the free throws it's awesome Nathan Brun's older brother, Ryan, an Ohio Northern standout, promised to shave his head if the team won state. Yeah, he is. He said last week after we beat Fort Lime, he said, we win state championship, I'll, I'll shave my head, so we're getting a razor for him. When's that going to happen? Who knows, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, who knows. And the Marion local bench with all kinds of theatrics all season long. Well, it started just as we were getting uh, ready for games, and then everybody started getting into it, and then we started getting everything else going. I don't know, just have to have fun with it, you know, on the sidelines, support your team. It's just having fun. They have fun on the court, we have fun on the bench. That's all we want to do. Who's the best dancer on the bench? I'd have to go with Max. Uh, hit, hit, hit it! Do hit something! It. Show me! Do do something. something. Show them it! Yeah. Our gold team did a tremendous job in this tournament run. Sometimes it's tough when you're playing defense all the time in practice. And we don't win a state championship without our gold team and our bench guys. And then what they do for us during the game, they keep us positive, they keep us motivated. You know, that's when you say you need 14, 15 guys to win a state championship. And, and we needed everybody here today from our community. It was a community win. It was a bench win. It's just a special time to be uh, in the Marion community. Marion Local does it. They cap off a state championship after winning the football title. They do it in boys basketball. First time in school history, they've won both in the same school year. Thanks once again to Moeller Trucking for bringing you today's highlights and interviews from the Schottenstein Center, Andy Lynch for WSN.